welcome back to Living Local. I'm Jonathan Turner. Alyssa Gothi of Bettendorf was crowned Miss Iowa 2023 this past June at the Adler Theater in Davenport, and next month will compete for Miss America in Orlando, Florida. But first, she's having a send-off celebration Saturday, December 16th at her alma mater, Bettendorf High School. I'm so happy to welcome Alyssa to Living Local. Hey Alyssa, how are you? I'm fabulous, how are you? Thank you very much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So how has your experience as Miss Iowa been so far? It has been a dream come true and a whirlwind. That's the best word I can use to describe it. I've been dreaming of this for 14 years. I started competing when I was just 10 years old. So to finally achieve this dream has just been so monumental and life-changing. I've traveled, gosh, 29,000 miles so far in about six months, been to 52 out of our 99 counties and now I'm preparing for Miss America. That's amazing. So as Miss Iowa, was this your first time with the Miss Iowa competition? And as the winner, what are your responsibilities? This is my fourth try in the Miss division. I've competed since I was in the Junior Miss with our youth program, all throughout my teen years in high school, and now as a Miss. And it's been so rewarding and amazing. I earned about $12,000 in scholarship just by winning the title of Miss Iowa. Oh gosh, so you can right. imagine how much I've accumulated over 14 years. It's been so life-changing. And I'm just so grateful for this organization for giving me that sense of self that I really needed when I was diagnosed with diabetes and going throughout school having that sense of empowerment has been so incredibly rewarding. So you touched on this a little bit. Um, how long have you been part of the beauty pageant circuit and how did you get involved as, were you 10 originally? Or I, was 10, I was 10 when I started and it was because I saw my cousin compete and I was just enamored with the talent portion. I'm a music teacher, I've always loved to sing, and I wanted to do that. So I turned to my mom and she initially said no. And I basically wore her down until she finally let me and we realized just how amazing this program is and I've been hooked ever since. Oh my gosh. So. Uh, it seems like you're following in the footsteps of another Miss Iowa from Bettendorf, Emily Tinsman, who I've written about a lot over the years. She's a uh, music education Drake graduate like yourself. She went into music teaching. Was she influential? Have you gotten to know her over the years? How has she helped you? She's been incredibly an incredible mentor throughout my years competing. She actually was my local director when I was Miss Polk County this past year, which was the title I competed with for Miss Iowa. And it was really cool to not only have that Quad Cities connection, but to have that music educator connection, have someone who was Miss Iowa live out that role and help me as I prepare and now live out that same role. Wow, I saw among the, scholar the scholarships you've uh, gotten so far, one was named for Emily. What was that for? It was a scholarship for arts education. So because of the advocacy work I've done for the arts, even though it's not my service initiative, I was awarded for the work I've done with my students and showing that music education can be so influential. And it was really rewarding to see that hard work pay off. Right, and you obviously have uh, experience on Living Local in the past. You said before we got started that Michaela Hugh Shaw was a former Miss Iowa as well. She's a former Living Local host, uh, and she's in Cincinnati now, so you got to meet her. What year was that, uh, that you taped that, and where were you in the process? We taped that, I believe, in 2021, so you can check out that old interview of younger me when I was still competing for Miss Iowa. And she's also been influential in my journey. She did so much as Miss Iowa. She was an incredible representative, and I'm hoping I leave her legacy lasting a little longer with my own. Right. And you mentioned also uh, being diagnosed with diabetes at a young age. That's your social impact initiative. I saw you actually worked with the state legislature to get no November uh, recognizes Diabetes Awareness Month. How, how has that been a, a focus for you and what kind of work have you done? When I was 11 years old, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and it totally changed my life. I unfortunately faced bullying and discrimination. I was the only person out of a graduating class of 400 people to be diabetic. And on top of an already difficult diagnosis, it made it that much harder. But I knew from that second day I was in the hospital room that I wanted to help people because people shouldn't have to feel the way that I felt, so hopeless and powerless. So for the past 12 and a half years, I've been working tirelessly by educating others about the harmful misconce misconceptions and stigmas that face the diabetes community so that together we can advocate for a cure and better lives of those living with diabetes. So one way is by getting a proclamation authored and signed by our governor and so much other work that goes into it to make sure that we eventually no longer live with type 1 diabetes. 
Right, that's amazing. Um, so you're having this send off on Saturday uh, mm -hmm. at Performing Arts Center at Benton Ruff High School. Uh, you're also going to have the Miss Iowa Teen, Juliana. Yes. What's her last name? Uh, Juliana sorry. Clark. Juliana Clark. She's actually from Clinton. She's a Clinton mm -hmm. High School student. And so what can people expect at the Saturday event? They get a sneak peek at all of our wardrobe, at our talent selections. They get to ask us some interview questions. So essentially all things Miss America for those that can't travel down to Orlando in just about one month. Awesome. And I know... Um, the uh, competition is like a week-long mm -hmm. process in Orlando. So what do they do over the, is it like January 9th to the 14th? Something like that. It's, it's a multi-layered process. What goes into it? There's so much that goes into it. I will leave January 5th and be there from the 6th through the 14th. So on the 14th, we crown our new Miss America, but leading up to that, we have preliminary competition where all 50 states and a representative from Washington, D.C. will compete. And we also have events throughout the week, so we get to promote our service initiatives. We welcome the teens as well as they are competing for the national title. And we are also developing more partnerships and sponsorships for the organization. A notable one is the American Heart Association. So we'll have our own Go Red Gala, which is going to be so much fun. Right, and you're a singer obviously, mm -hmm. so are you going to be performing as part of the competition and what's your song? Yes, I don't want to reveal my song just right, yet. Right. I will say it's <laughs> one that I've done before so people can guess if they would like. But I'm really excited to bring some musical theater to the stage. That's been a love of mine since I could sing, since I could talk, and it's so exciting to get to live out that dream of performing my talent on the Miss America stage. And are the different categories mm -hmm. for Miss Iowa similar to Miss America? They're exactly the same. So we have private interview that's not seen on stage, and then on stage in front of a live audience, we have on stage question, health and fitness, talent, of course, and evening gown. And famously, the Miss America competition did away with the swimsuit portion, mm -hmm. I think in 2018. That was welcomed by many people. Do you have a perspective on that? That's something that was in the past that the, you're glad to be rid of? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all throughout the teen program where we had health and fitness and I knew that personally I did not want to compete in the swimsuit portion so I never envisioned myself competing as a Miss contestant. I struggled with disordered eating all throughout high school and after my grandfather passed away from a heart attack I realized that I really needed to take my health into consideration especially living with diabetes and once I got away with swimsuit it made me feel even more empowered and now the health and fitness portion is one of my favorite. I, ex I didn't expect to have so much fun but I loved it at Miss Iowa and I get to show that healthy might not look one type of way, but that I am healthy in my own right. How does that uh, manifest itself in the competition? Health and mm -hmm. fitness, do you have to do certain workouts? Uh, how does that work? We have great trainers, Quad City Performance, definitely check them out, they're amazing. But also, we don't have to do push-ups or a workout routine. We go on and we model and show our self-confidence because again, it's not about who's the thinnest or the most muscular person on stage. It's really about how you embody health and wellness and confidence. And uh, lastly, I was going to ask, I think the last Miss America competition was shown online or streamed. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know how people can watch? A lot, a lot of people in the Quad Cities want mm -hmm. to see how it ends, so uh, how can people yes. tune in? I'm so excited for people to be able to stream. We don't know where exactly yet, but we do know there will be no paywall, so people will be able to watch for free, which is amazing. Awesome. And there's never been, I think, never been a Miss Iowa, so hopefully Alyssa's going to be the first. Fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, uh, Miss Iowa's Miss America. Thank you so much for being with us, Alyssa Gothi. Uh, please uh, check her out and Miss Iowa's teen, Juliana Clark, on Saturday. They're going to be at Bettendorf High School on 18th Street at 3 o'clock on Saturday. For more information on Alyssa, you can read my story on ourquadcities.com and email me at jturner at whbf.com. We'll have those details all posted on ourquadcities.com.